Hola mis amores, this is Massimo with Mas Barco DIYs. Welcome back to my channel. Today, I'm so happy to share with you guys five Dollar Tree DIYs. I hope you love them as much as I do. And if you're new to my channel, I would like to invite you to subscribe. And now let's go ahead and start with the first project. For the first project, I found these two glass vases at Dollar Tree. Remove the sticker from the bottom and sand them with the same paper before applying the E6000 glue and hot glue. And I got this texture spray paint from Walmart. When you apply the spray paint, you will not be able to see the texture when the paint is wet, so don't over spray, give it one coat until every side is covered and let dry for a few hours. For the second DIY, I found the two serving trays at Dollar Tree and gave them two coats of white shocked paint. Once that was done, I put tape all around the inside to paint the border of the tray. I'm dry brushing on top with this lighter color by just using just a little bit of paint on my brush. I'm cleaning the edges with the same white paint. Got the beads garland at Walmart on Christmas. It used to be longer, but I made lots of DIYs with the garland. With E6000 glue and hot glue, I glue the garland to the border of the tray. And I'm also gluing the other tray to the top. These four little wooden legs are from Walmart. Painted them white and glue them to the bottom of the tray using wood glue and E6000. For this next project, I got these two canvases from the craft section at Dollar Tree. The first step is to remove all the staples and the canvas since we only need the frame. These binder rings are also from Dollar Tree. For this frame, I'll be using this Dollar Tree yarn. They have lots of yarn colors you can choose from. First, cut the yarn, fold it so you can create a loop and go under and over. Then pull the rest of the yarn through the loop. I use a ruler to make the cutting step faster. Keep repeating the same steps until you cover it all the ring with the yarn. I love you. I put your 
your favorite song on just to wake you up when i dance around i can't help but feeling just loving this moment once that was done i placed the ring in the frame this will be the back so make sure it's the side you remove the staples from also make sure the side of the ring where the nuts of the yarn are is in the front since this side will be the back I want my ring to be on the left side when I flip the frame to the front, so I'm placing it now in the right side to staple the yarn to the frame with the staple gun. Cut all the excess yarn off and as you can see I need to add more pieces so I'm repeating the same looping process to add more yarn to the ring. For this frame, I used a lighter color yarn, also from Dollar Tree. I wanted them to have the circle next to each other, so for this one, once I flipped the frame to the back side, I'm placing the ring in the left side and I repeated the same steps as the previous frame. To make sure I had the circle center in the right place before stapling, I placed the other one on top. And just like the previous piece, I'm making the smaller side fuller and for the longer one, I'm stapling less yarn. They don't have to be the exact same, but I want them to be kind of similar. If I leave tonight, we could do this right. We'll find the remedy. Oh, would you stay with me now till the morning light? Before you turn away, I just want you to know it. The wooden box and the stencil for this DIY are both from Dollar Tree. You can choose any of the stencils. I chose the first one. With this black paint and a painting brush, I dabbed the paint, then removed the stencil and repeated the same step all around the box. With this faux leather ribbon from Dollar Tree, I'm creating little handles on both sides. And to attach the ribbon, I use nail tacks. This final step is completely optional, I painted the nail tags black. To make the night light, I started by painting black the bottom piece. It was already black, but the plastic was too shiny. And by painting it with this black shocked paint, it looks more high-end. I then glued a piece of the same ribbon from the previous DIY all around the piece. These LED string lights are also from the Tree. I place all the green inside and left the cord outside so I can turn it on and off. Just push it in and place the batteries and you're done. Okay, mis amores, thank you so, so much for watching today's video. I will see you soon. Bye.